In this lecture, we will study periodic and aperiodic signals. Periodic and aperiodic. Aperiodic is also known as non-periodic signals. A signal is said to be periodic if it repeats after particular or fixed interval of time. Observe here I have shown one waveform. I will call this as T naught. Here T naught we can say the width of the first cycle and its value is T naught is equal to 2 minus 0 that is 2. I will call this as first cycle and its value is T naught. Let this be second cycle. I will call it as 2 T naught. Similarly, this is my third cycle. I will call it as 3 T naught. So here the value of 2 T naught is 2 into 2 that is 4 and 3 T naught is 6. Now here we can observe that x of t begins at t equal to 0 it will move like this and this will be the first cycle of x of t the period of this signal or the width of first cycle is t naught now here we can observe that at every t naught the same cycle is repeated so here we can observe that at 1 t naught that is at t equal to 2 the same cycle repeats that is this one and at 2 t naught or at t naught equal to 4 again the same cycle is repeats so this kind of signals are known as periodic signals so now i can say x of t is equal to x of t plus 2 that is when time is incremented by 2 that is at 2 again the same cycle appears or I can say at x of t plus 4 that is at time is incremented by 4 here again the same cycle repeats. So this kind of signals are known as periodic signals. Now I can say any signal any continuous time signal any continuous time signal x of t is said to be periodic if it satisfies the condition that is x of t is equal to x of t plus n t naught where n is integer and t naught is known as fundamental period that is where n is integer that is 1 t naught 2 t naught 3 t naught like that and t naught is fundamental period fundamental period a smallest value of t naught for which this condition satisfies is known as fundamental period for example in this case t naught value is 2 2 t naught is 4 3 t naught is 6 so minimum value is t naught is equal to 2 therefore fundamental period with respect to this example is 2 that is fundamental period is defined as smallest value of t naught for which for which equation 1 satisfies that is x of t is equal to x of t plus 2 that is 
at 2 the same signal repeats. So this is the smallest value for which the signal repeats. Therefore T0 is known as fundamental period. So now any signal which does not satisfy this condition is known as non-periodic signal or a periodic signal that is a signal x of t which does not satisfy equation 1 is called a periodic signal So here I can show one waveform, a periodic waveform. So here we can observe, let this be 0, 1, 2, this is 3, 4, 5. The the period of first cycle is, say it is 2. So now here we can observe at 2 to 4, it is different from 0 to 2 or if you observe from 4 to 6 it is different from 0 to 2 so this signal is a periodic signal now we'll consider a discrete time signal x of n a discrete time signal x of n is said to be periodic if it satisfies the condition that is x of n is equal to x of n plus n for all n where n is integer and capital N is positive integer again the smallest value for which smallest value of n for which above equation satisfies is known as fundamental period in discrete time signal discrete time signal x of n here i'll show you the waveform for discrete time signal how it looks like so in this waveform this is a discrete signal here we can observe that at every six samples that is these three sample plus these three sample after six samples the same signal appears therefore this x of n is a periodic signal in discrete time signals here capital n value is equal to six that is for every n is equal to six the same waveform will appear therefore it is periodic signal now a discrete time signal x of n is said to be a periodic if it does not satisfy this condition. Now let's see what is angular frequency in case of discrete time signals. A angular frequency of x of n is given by 
omega is equal to 2 pi divided by n radians. This is fundamental frequency equation in case of discrete time signals that is omega is equal to 2 pi by n radians. Thank you for watching.